we go to configure and configure stats and we get a little pop-up that comes up and uh, I'll size this best we can here <clears throat> alright we want to click on player statistics and then we have three columns um, the last column here is statistics for the actual physical statistics we use um, that's you know, pretty self-explanatory uh, the ones that come up in blue are ones that did not uh, just come with uh, poker tracker they're the ones that um, you know have been made or imported uh, variables we're not going to be using um, it's basically a temporary uh, way of holding information <clears throat> but here's uh, the columns is what most people are really unfamiliar with it's uh, really sort of the driving force behind this the way that poker tracker um, keeps up with a lot of information is by just counting things um, for example, let's go, um, yeah, let's go here. If you want to count the number of hands you played on the button, you can do that. Um, it's going to be this expression, <coughs> and there's uh, an if sort of statement in here, that uh, if your position is zero, which means the button, you know, if your position is zero, then it'll add a 1. If not, it adds a 0. And the sum means it goes through all the hands, you know, for whatever your filter is, and uh, adds all this up. So the number of hands you, you know, this will give you the number of hands you play on the button. Alright. Um, and then we have similar here for, um, I'll expand this a little bit so you can see easier. If you want to look at hands, uh, we'll say in early position. It would just be sum of, you know, if, and then we have um, <clears throat> this bit I talked about for early position. So it basically just says if we're in early position, we add one to our total. If not, <clears throat> then uh, we don't. And then that will just add up all the hands is in early position. But um, it does this for a lot of things. Uh, for example, um, this will be um, count the P means pre-flop, 3-bet, then OPP means opportunity. So the number of times you had the opportunity to 3-bet pre-flop. And it just counts those up. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, <coughs> excuse me, we're just going to make a stat um, sort of as an example to count uh, how many times you raised pre-flop, um, I guess we'll say on the button. Okay. Or times you uh, open raise from some position. We'll do early position, middle position, late position. Okay. So here we've got um, a column that's going to be important. It's count, preflop, open uh, opportunities. And we're going to duplicate this and make it be um, early position. Okay, so count, preflop, open, whatever, early position. So we need to change this a little bit. And we're going to copy and paste in uh, if uh, and, you know, basically we're saying if we're in early position and we had uh, the chance to open. <clears throat> we're going to change this to in early position. Uh, we click. We'll see, I'll bring it over on the screen. Click validate here. Make sure your uh, SQL is good. And hit save. So that's our opportunities to open. And um, now we need um, raise first in. <clears throat> and we're going to do this from early position. So again, we're going to go in here and say we're in early position and we raised first in. So validate. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. And then we're going to change this to in early position. And we save. Okay. Now, let me bring up our uh, notepad window again. What we're going to have is 
um, the times we raised pre-flop. Well, okay, times we raised first in in early position divided by our opportunities to open in early position. And we multiply that times 100, and this is going to give us um, the total percentage of the time we open raised first in, that we had an opportunity to raise first in. So now we go to statistics. So we probably have something that looks similar to this. Um, let's see, it should be raise. Uh, hmm. Maybe pre-flop raise first in, something like that. <clears throat> I guess we don't. So we click. Um, okay, we're going to click this and hit the duplicate button here. Ah, oh, hell, you can't see it. Click the duplicate button on pre-flop raise here, just so it keeps the formatting uh, here. So we're going to say um, raise first in from early position, and the description is going to be raised first in, or just say raise first in from early position, and then this is going to be our uh, stat. Okay, not valid. I guess you got to put in the spaces. Hmm. Well, I'm messing something up here, but I'll get to it in a second. So anyway, um, this is for um, if you have it as a tab in the stats. So you'll say rate. I just put RFI. That's what it was. I think yeah. Here there was a stat that's called RFI, but we'll just call it RFI EP. Um, you know, and you can add other categories if you want, and then there's some color information here, but we're not going to fuck with that. So let's um, let's see if we can figure out what we messed up. If you if you hit insert, you can go and just pick straight out what you want. And uh, let's see, what we had <coughs> it makes it so you don't really make typos and stuff. Raise preflop. Account preflop raise first in early position. Okay. And we want to divide that by, let's see, count preflop raise opportunities. Or can no, I count preflop open opportunities in early position? Okay, then we want to multiply it times 100. There we go. Wonder where I messed up. Oh, I didn't put. You have to put spaces between the parentheses. Like it would have to be like that. I bet. Let me copy and paste. Yeah, see, it's the same thing. So that must have been it. But anyway, so we hit save and um, hit the apply button, and it gives you a message. So now, I want to shrink this up a little bit so you can see what we're going to do. If we want to look at it, add it to a report, we can hit here, find it on the list. Um, raise first in from early position, and it adds it here. Hit apply, and for our buddy here, it would be 3.57%. Uh, you could put these... Do one for early position, middle position, late position, and um, you know that probably if you put that on a pop-up, that's probably more useful information than just pre-flop raise by itself.